The 2025 NAB Product of the Year is the virtual production app JetSet, which offers real-time previews of virtual scenes using USDs or Gaussian splats, automatically tracks your camera so you can shoot handheld on a green screen without tracking a single frame, calibrates the offset between the iPhone lens and your camera lens, and automatically sets up your 3D scene with your camera recreated and your footage in 3D space, so all your 3D tracking matches your camera and footage perfectly. I've been putting JetSet to the test over the last seven months on a sci-fi series that takes place in my Friends of Sophia world. The film, which you can watch on Dust, took me two years to complete. So with JetSet, I've tried to improve that workflow to create big sci-fi scenes with a minimal crew of about five or six people and a reasonable VFX schedule. And I was surprised by the results. Seeing it all come together with the camera movement and the world building, it's always so incredible. It's just like, wow, we really did this with such a small team. This is the seventh and last episode of a seven-part series sponsored by Lightcraft, who created the Jet Set app. As always, they haven't asked me to say anything specific, so this is an honest look at my experience. But first, let's take a look at the finished final episode of Friends of Sophia Tidbits and Bites, and then I'll give you all my thoughts looking back at creating this series. Got it. Let's do this. I'm ready. You're sure you wanted to leave all the apps? I've never been more sure about anything in my life. That's sad. Okay. Find single bots in your sector. Android repair go. Connect mine of spark plug sucker. Battery smart. Chrome polishes. Load now. I want to see who you were messaging. Absolutely not. Why? What do you have to hide? Nothing. Come on. Babe. 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 <laughs> Babe. <laughs> Babe. All right. Fine. If you really want to see it. Great. Really thought that would be more of a struggle. Ooh. That was a really lonely night. A good night, though. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. See? Not just bots. Excellent. Oh, my bot. That model does this, like jackhammer thing that just really hits. Yeah, okay, time to delete. Just us. Well, there's just one last thing, if it's just us. Ready to make it official? I am so ready.
It's our last day of shooting Friends of Sophia Tidbits and Bites, and today we have a 3D printed head of Bites, uh, including this little uh, light element so that as Bites gets close to BJ, we see this light on their skin, kind of similar to how we use the light gag for the X drone. It's just kind of crazy because when this whole series started, like the first episode, I was just trying to figure out how to use Jet Set, basically just BJ standing there facing different directions um, while I was trying to get Jet Set Cindy to work. And now here we are uh, seven episodes later with a fully 3D printed head version uh, of Bytes with interactive lighting, uh, going to multiple locations um, in one episode. In my first video of this series, I said I was putting Jet Set to the test, and I wanted to see, can I use these tools to help tell a story? Can I continue to grow and develop a sci-fi world on an indie budget? How far can I push my VFX capabilities with this new tool? And how does this affect the timeline of a project? So let's go through those questions. Jet Set has made me a better director. I know that's a big claim, but here's why. Jet Set allows me to move fast in all phases of production. Using Jet Set to make the episodes within the app before production is wonderful because it allows me to stop and think and try new angles and new edits without wasting time during production. These pre-edits allow me to see an episode in its final form rather than just a script, which helped me both to refine the script and to be super intentional when I'm on set. The types of shots I could get because I was looking at the scene in real time were infinitely better than simple flat plates. And even though we were on a green screen, everyone could see the scene because we had Jet Set. Jet Set also made the post process super fast so I could iterate and work on the next episode. When you're making a film, even a short film, it's a lot of time for one story and one project. Jet Set allowed me to iterate seven times super quickly, directing seven new projects in just a few months. That iteration made growing a sci-fi world a successful benchmark as well. Especially in the VFX portion of the process, AutoShot, the desktop component to the Jet Set system, saved me a ton of time on the technical tasks of getting your footage into a 3D scene, so I could spend my time building environments and finding new corners of this sci-fi world to explore. Like I mentioned, Friends of Sophia the film took me two years to finish, and as I built that world from the ground up, a lot of lore and world building rules manifested to justify all these decisions I was making from the architecture and design of the company tower to the messages on big billboards or advertisements on the company broadcast. So working really quickly on seven new episodes allowed me to explore different parts of the world that didn't make it into the film. It also allowed me to refine the tone, to lean into the humorous aspects of Friends of Sophia, which was a lot of fun. If they hit someone, it'll hurt, but it won't, like, kill them. I've checked. Now I have a pretty substantial body of work that takes place in the Friends of Sophia world that really shows the potential of stories to be told, and producer Yuki Ledbetter and I are already developing another project. If you're interested to know more, definitely reach out to me. Jet Set is a remarkable tool to have in your VFX tool belt. I started using the free version of Jet Set, then added more and more uses for the app with each episode, like tracking the 3D location of Bytes or X with the second phone running Jet Set, or using Gaussian splats within the app. For this last episode, we have a 3D printed head of Bytes for BJ to interact with. When I first started this project, I had never animated a character like Bytes before, and now he's kissing someone. And a big shout out and thank you to Benjamin Nowicki for 3D printing the Bytes head for us. Jet Set goes incredibly fast. Getting your shots tracked and seeing your footage in a 3D scene the day after shooting speeds up the post-production process tenfold. The only part of the process that was taking a lot of time comparatively was putting together all the fine detailing of the 3D scenes, all the super detailed tracking and rotoscoping, rendering everything, and compositing the shots together. But these are parts of the VFX process that just take time, especially if you're doing it on your own. But the Jet Set component of the workflow? Game-changing fast. 
When I look at tidbits and bites and compare it to Friends of Sophia, at times it feels a little bit like the Star Wars prequels in that everything is shot on a green screen. There's a tactile feeling to shooting in real locations that Tidbits and Bites is missing sometimes. But this whole series has been about building out a green screen workflow. But now I'm curious how Jet Set can work on location. Whether you're doing 3D set extensions, adding production design elements, or destroying a location, literally anything. Or doing scans of a location during a tech scout and then iterating on all of your camera angles and lighting design before you're in production. I'm excited for what's next, both with the Friends of Sophia world and with how Jet Set can work in all of my future films. And finally, I want to shout out the crew that made this series possible. This series was made with a small but mighty team, and I couldn't have done it without them. And that's a wrap on Friends of Sophia, Tidbits and Bites. Good job, guys. Friends of Sophia, Tidbits and Bites. BJ, I have a gift for you. Oh, cute. And they've also been working on a... <gasps> that is dope. Tidbits and Bites poster. I'm obsessed. So couldn't be happier. Thank you. Oh my god, you're amazing. Don't forget to check out Friends of Sophia on Dust and download the Jet Set app so you can bring your own stories to life.